All right, now let's go ahead and install the QR code module. To do that, we're going to need the uh, module prepped with the wiring prepared. Um, we'll need a Phillips head screwdriver to drive this screw into this nut here. These are the same same screws and nuts that are used in the in, a, in the final assembly that go into into each of the posts on the four corners of the voice set. We'll also need two of the rubber washers and a pair of pliers just to get the the uh, nut here properly seated in its slot on the in the uh, top of the of the voice set enclosure. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put these two uh, rubber washers into the inside faces of these mounts here for the for the uh, QR code reader. So these little, these little mounts here on the inside faces, there's a recess specifically sized for these washers. So you just take them, just work them in there, so one side and on the other. It should fit smoothly and securely. A little bit of the washer will stick out, that's intended. Then we're going to put this nut in the hexagonal opening on this, on this face of the of the mount. You notice on this end there's no such little hexagonal opening. So it's pretty hard, pretty easy to spot which side the, the nut goes into. And it's supposed to fit firmly so it may not go in really well initially. I just kind of squeezed it in there a little bit. You can see that? Let's get more light in there. That's in the way. So it's not it's not completely in. We're going to use this pliers to get it completely in. I'm going to set it at the wider mouth setting. And we just take it this out of the way here. Take the pliers and we'll squeeze the nut against the washer. And now we'll see that it's not helpful. See that it's it's uh, it's flush against the face here. All right, the next step is to we're done with the pliers unless that thing pops out again. Now we're going to insert the uh, module enclosure and wiring through this opening like this. So the module is facing upward, and then we're just going to kind of rock it back and forth and work the extension part here into, into this, the opening between, the, between these two mount points and the rubber washers that are in there. So they'll resist a little bit, you don't have to push too hard, just kind of work it into place. And there is an opening on this side, right here. That is just the right size for you to put your screw your screwdriver through, but it's also a good place to use. Let me see if I can see with the camera here. You can kind of sight through here and look for light coming through that hole, this hole in the mount down in here. So you should be able to see light going all the way through from here to there. That means everything is lined up and you're ready to insert this screw. So that's going to be a little hard for you to see, but if I get myself a proper amount of light, I should be able to see. So just you know, move the move the module around until you can see a pretty good straight shot through. And 
Now hopefully without moving that module too much, I'm going to take this screw and I'm going to insert it through those two mounts. And I'm going to try not to, not to uh, hit these wires in any way. And then I'll take, I get part way in, I don't want to push the nut out of the other side. Now I'll take my screwdriver in here and I will just tighten that nut, tighten the screw rather. Right on through the nut and come out the other side a little ways. Okay, just tighten it down snug. We don't need to over tighten this. It won't take much. It's just to make it so that we can you know, set this module in a sp specific location and it'll stay there. So it's not just going to flop down. That's tight enough for now. If it turns out that you need to loosen it or tighten it later, that's what this um, access hole is for, for you to get a screwdriver in there. All right. So that is getting the module attached. And then we'll take a look now at connecting it to our uh, our Arduino. So we need the bottom half of the enclosure. And we also need to get out our sheet of paper. Probably should have done this first. Get out our sheet of paper that has our cable on it. Uh, and we, we're going to write down the colors of the wires and how they attach. Uh, the wire that goes directly to the module to the jumper wire that we uh, attached during prep. We could have done it then as well. Probably should have. All right, so I know we've got green to green, so I'll just write green in here. We've got, I remember we did red, we did red to red. Um, white is connected to yellow. And that leaves our black here. Black is connected to orange. And then knowing this, we have this table, we can, uh, we can ignore the colors of the wires on the QR code module and just pay attention to these extension wires that we attached and how they should connect up. So green is going to go to uh, terminal block slot number 13. Yellow is going to go to 14. Red is going to go to a power or 3.3 volt um, uh, slot. And orange is going to go to ground. So let's connect those up. And we might have to kind of reposition these two together here. So to make this a little easier, I might even have to turn them so I can access things a little easier for myself. All right, so we want green to 13 and yellow to 14. We'll do yellow first since it's the furthest from me. Make sure the gate is open. Put the wire in. Tighten it. Tug. Then we have yellow going, yellow going to 14, green going to 13. Red going to 3.3 and orange is going to go to ground. So here's uh, 3v3. This is power. And ground. So you can stay, keep everything right in the third rank of slots. I think I might have missed that one. Okay, tug. Yep. All right. So that completes the install of this. The uh, next step would be to test whether everything is connected properly. But everything's here. These wires are going off to the RFID card, which you may or may not be putting in in, in uh, your particular installation.